Welcome to the 2009 Bahamas Weather Conference web channel. We're trying to get a sense of what's happening globally. Now there's no question that the Atlantic is a major contributor to that in terms of its trend, but there's not that many storms in the Atlantic compared to the rest of the world. So the rest of the world is, is certainly the, the measurements we're making. They are participating significantly. Because you get one upward trend recently will mislead a lot of people, I think. We, we were very clear in, in the paper that, that was published that this is not a statement of attribution. We don't make any distinction there. So uh, it's a difficult thing. I mean, it's almost like because there's this question of CO2, we're not supposed to do any sort of hurricane climate work anymore because if you show things increasing that the message is that CO2 is causing it, well, we don't want to arrive at that point either, I don't think. He's just calling it as he sees it as his analysis comes up. I don't think we should worry about perception of how our scientific analysis are coming up with. We're doing the best we can. And, you know, as Jim was careful, he was not doing any attribution. I think it is important that we do, do have, from our science, uh, uh, get the uh, reality out there so it doesn't get misconstrued and get stated in the wrong way because uh, it just, uh, it, it really goes off on wrong directions on some of the actions we take if we do this. What I think Jim and what Chris are saying is, boy, there's a lot of research that still needs to be done uh, before we can be sure uh, of where we're going. You know, after a 2005 season, much of the media went wild with what's going to happen in 2006 and global warming's going. And then it was, relatively speaking, a quieter year. Uh, I think a lot of the public thought, what are these guys talking about? Hyping this big global warming thing and then nothing happens. So they believe you when you, when you talk on TV, so be very careful what you say.